morning everyone. Today we are going to visit three historical sites right here in Newcastle. We will explore the history of these sites and their significance to the local community. Can you think of any historical sites you visited with your family? For our first destination, we are visiting one of Newcastle's oldest navigational markers, the Obelisk. This site was built in 1820 and was significant to Newcastle history as it not only was used for navigation, it also previously acted as a windmill to grind flour. As you can see, the obelisk is situated upon a prominent knoll. This helped sailing crafts approach the port of Newcastle because of its visibility from miles away. The obelisk was important to the city of Newcastle as it also served as the first reticulated water supply. Next on our journey, we have the famous Bogey Hole Ocean Pool. In 1819, the Bogey Hole was hand honed out of a wave cut rock platform by convicts for Major James Morissette, a long serving commandant of Newcastle. As the swimming spot was made for Morissette, the pool was originally referred to as the Commandant's Baths. However, this name changed to Bogey Hole, which comes from the drawer word meaning to bathe. The importance of this site to the local community and state can be seen by its recognition and listing on the New South Wales State Heritage Register. The Bogey Hole is important and significant as it is potentially the earliest known purpose-built ocean pool in Australia. I'm going to give you some time to think about the importance of these sites in the past. How has this changed over time? For our final destination of our site study today, we are visiting the Shepherd's Hill Military Installations. This historically significant site is also listed on the New South Wales State Heritage Register for the significant role it played in protecting Newcastle from foreign attack. This heritage site consists of a former military gun battery emplacement, observation post and gunner's cottage. Shepherd's Hill is historically significant at a state and national level because of its important role in aiding Australian coastal defences. This site was listed on the New South Wales State Heritage Register on the 2nd of July 2010 for many reasons some of which include the site's potential to yield information that contribute to an understanding of the cultural and natural history of New South Wales. As you can see in this sign located outside Gunners Cottage, restoration and reconstruction of the site is being undertaken in accordance with the Shepherds Hill Defence Group Military Installations Conservation Management Plan. The restoration of Shepherd's Hill is being conducted by the City of Newcastle. So why is it important to preserve these sites? It is extremely important to preserve these historical sites as they are our connections to the past. Their preservation provides a link to the roots of the Newcastle community and its people. You can take action and become active citizens in your local community in various ways such as spreading awareness of the importance of preserving these sites by talking to family and friends. You can raise money to donate to the conservation and restoration of historic sites, and you can volunteer to help wherever possible in helping to preserve these sites.